let's get this. I'm probably gonna make highlights in this too. Let's get it, Sucker Punch. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Jason Productions. Jason Connell. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Of course. Combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the, the world, world of Tsushima. Tsushima. I'm telling y'all, I'm so hyped for this game, and it's not that far out. That's the nice part. Exploring Tsushima. Because they had to answer these questions. Everybody was like, how you do it with no waypoints? I'm telling y'all to follow the leaves, but y'all can believe me or not. You're going to find out in about two seconds. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. True. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Use the guiding wind to navigate the island. I told y'all. I told you, I made a video saying follow the leaves. Now, yes, you're technically following the wind, but the point is, is that the leaves have to indicate which direction the wind is going. In other words, you follow the leaves, because that's what you can see. I mean, you can kind of see the wind in this too, but I told y'all, this, this, this game, this game is going to be insane, bro. It just looks so beautiful as is. This game is gonna be crazy. I mean, <laughs> and it just looks so big. Like it looks like there's no, there really is no end to the outskirts of Tsushima in this game. Like it looks that crazy, as y'all can see. And then again, y'all saw the Unreal Five graphics. Um, dog. Cause look how beautiful it looks already. It's on the PS4. Wait till it's on the PlayStation 5 because you know it's gonna come out for both. Call a gust of wind at any time to point you in the right direction. Come on, bruh. And this whole, see, stuff like picking up the resources kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn, in all honesty. It kind of feels like the Horizon Zero Dawn situation, actually. Oh, there's people fighting over there. Oh. Yeah, I was, let's see, three times maybe. I was watching it. I wonder if you, obviously getting these resources too, I wonder, you'll probably be able to craft specific weapons and things, uh, like weapons, and maybe like casings for weapons, or not even casings, but y'all know, holders. The Guiding Wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game. Okay. Like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. Can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smoke stacks on the horizons, interesting and odd shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no more. I was telling you, I was watching Game Ranks uh, top 10 or 15 lived in, most lived in worlds, and obviously it was about games that came out already, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if the next time they do it, that Ghost of Tsushima is on that list because it always is like this stuff going on all the time. Like, let's like say they can take you different places, but you gotta pay attention to the smokestacks and stuff. And they put Zapdos in the game. Some birds will lead you into points. Damn it! You really follow animals. Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Uh, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. Let's go, Nobu. I really am curious to see if Jin gets outed throughout the game. Like that would make sense for the story for that to happen. Um. At some point, that's whoever it is finds out he's the gold. I mean, it'll, it's definitely gonna be Khan at the end. He'll know. But I feel like at that point, Jen will have let him know. It's more being the to collect resources. Yeah. Yeah, 
Like, the game just looks so beautiful. Fox Den. Foxes will guide you into hidden shrines across the island. That's really wild. Like, you gotta realize we're following wind, leaves, and animals to locations. That's just, that's kind of fire. Like, that's like, you're really using the whole environment. I didn't really think about that, but that's like, you're really using the whole environment to guide you places. Which, they said it, but you know, when you see it, it feels and looks different. Like, you're like, no, like, really all the living things on the island are showing you where to go. Once you visit a location, you'll be able to return with fast travel. Oh, that's tough. Which means this world. Sushima is hell. rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Yo! <laughs> is that screen? What's up? Uh, see, the thing is, like, and uh, from the articles we read, we talked about how people will respect you more when I was talking about the skill trees video. If y'all didn't see that, you guys should go check it out. But I was comparing it to Assassin's Creed, but they were saying that during the day, you more than likely want to be the samurai in the samurai, you know what I'm saying? And you want to be the ghost at night. So, I don't know. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. What's up, Nate? Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Please do show us some combat. I wonder if the resources are also for health purposes too. I mean, I'm sure it is usually in games like this where you collect the resources wherever you go. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing movie. each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Good. Fight me! See? What's that little standoff? Yeah. Hit me with a whole spear, dog. Bit. Now I don't know. See, this is the thing. I wonder what is those. How does this work? Like I'm still kind of like the combat, right? Like you see the R R1 and L1 together, and the three, or oh, and all those circles down there in the corner. And you saw how, like As when you can see the Mongols destroyed. are everywhere on this island. Yeah, they are. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. See, I wouldn't just expect Nate Fox when I'm speaking. But look, oh, that's right. Um, but <laughs> how does it work? Like, is, is it a parry? I don't understand. Are you... Like, like, I can see how this could end up being so much challenging. Parry enemies at the last possible moment to open them up. Okay, okay. It is. So it might be very close to a God of Horse uh, situation, y'all. Yeah. That we're looking at here. Yeah, I can't wait to play this, y'all. I'm gonna have this all over the channel. Oh! Why well, he look at him like that? He came up and went up, swing backwards, and looked at him like, What are you doing, stupid? That's what I got from it. It's in the ghost. Dark. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. The dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. This man just flew off that even horse. Even using fear as a weapon. I saw it in the trailer, but I didn't think he was going to look that graceful. Why is this dishonorable, though? Like, I don't understand. Oh my gosh. 
Maybe disrespectful, but not dishonorable. You see what I'm saying? Like to stab a brother in his appendix or side and then in his throat is, is definitely disrespectful. No respect. And to shoot somebody in the head like that. But all I'm saying is that how is it dishonorable? It's like they came here and all they did was massacre us. We have to have honor when fighting against a-holes. I understand it's a culture thing, but these people are quite evil. I don't know what you... Man, I'm about to be dishonorable as hell. I'm gonna ghost it up. I don't have time for this. I wouldn't be caring about all that. Well, I would, because... The NPCs do feel like it's dishonorable to be the goal. But I don't understand how you can have NPCs feel like it's dishonorable. I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. Assassinate. Stupid. I don't know what you said, but. This is where you get that Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed situation there. Enemies with a little more armor. Oh, yeah, but... oh, he's on like two hits. Oh, those were quick kunais? Ah, uh, damn. Man, one dude took off. He's out! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Homie left. They said to learn to fear the ghost, right? Yeah. Oh, homeboy was out. Okay, grapple hook. Hey, they can use this grapple hook to climb or swing across the gaps. Headshot! Stupid. <laughs> ah, this game's gonna be fun. <laughs> Having their face and then twisted. That was rude. Yeah, blow that joint up. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Get him out of here. He lit this whole ship up. He was like, yeah. I'm Shipyard. I wonder too, like, so is this gonna be a side mission or is it a mission that helps with the main story? Customizing Jin. That was something I did have, a, I had questions about. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as he the ghost, fire Jin the had on a different fire. set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. See, okay. It's not just the way it looks. I assume, it helps accent your chosen play style. I assume without as you explore armor, the world, be faster, you'll or... discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all Charm new classes. techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. Okay. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Dye Find flowers. enough of them, and you can change the color of an armor. That was a, Not only do you get to choose that was how an the Assassin's Creed. gameplay evolves, I think that was you can fine-tune the look as well. It might have been in Unity, too. Okay, I see. Uh, it might. Those are probably not the only games. For those of y'all who are like, it was also in these other 10 games. I didn't know. I believe you. Um, you feel me? But <laughs> those are the ones I think of because those are the ones at my recent. It wouldn't be a memory. sucker punch game if it didn't have photo. Yeah, that makes sense. In our new photo mode, yeah, photo we have features modes. such as it's color fire. grading, depth of field, photo so mode is every focus game on the right now. objects. We have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement that's so great about our game. You can control the wind's direction, the speed. You can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. 
Here's a few that you I've created. video, too? I should have known that in photo mode you could do videos. Look at this. And again, think about Japanese voice track. That's something that I want to use at all times. But I probably have to put subtitles on. Quite honestly, but I've watched enough anime where it doesn't bother me. I don't watch anime. The Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. That's what's up. Oh, samurai sama no tatakai kata jana. Never see the samurai fight like that. Nani o mousu? It was nothing. Oh, no, nani. Oh, samurai do koro jana yo. Okay. That might be you gaining another ally, because I don't know how many allies you, you're going to get. You know Masako is the first one, or at least the one that, you know. But I think that, I wonder how many more there will be. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite Samurai movie. That's why so we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Obviously a parry and then attack meter, at least it seems like, but then you also see him hit a few times without that. So I'm thinking it's going to be God of War as that's what I'm thinking. And if y'all didn't play God of War, you should. It is. It was Today, cool. we've shared with you some of the uh, unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai, or assassinate as the ghost, right. customize Jin. I would we'll say play like Sekiro, in special ways. Is like... <laughs> but we have yeah, so that. much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you Thank later. Thank you so much for showing us today, sir. Well, y'all know I've been covering Ghost of Tsushima since last year, and I am very excited. And we are very close to it being out. We got a little bit over a couple of months. About two months, if I mean, if we're being, you know, two months and three days, something like that. But that's fine. Thank you, State of Play. I appreciate you. Seriously. Well, all right, y'all, there you have it. That was Ghost of Tsushima. That was an extensive look at it. And, you know, I'm I'm hype. I am very hype and. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just really excited. So what we're gonna do is, we'll have a couple more videos out about this. Maybe like I'll do some. I'll just do. I might turn this one into just some highlights so y'all have to watch all 20 minutes. But then I also might just talk about the different, you know, the different uh, modes that they showed us and the different ones, the aspects that they showed us. Also might do just like a little review of the state of play, which you know, so far I liked. I thought it was a good. I thought it was good, so, but you know, that's, that's gonna be that, so I'm very excited, July 17th, we will be playing Ghost of Tsushima on this channel, and, and many other places you will see it, it's gonna be very fire, it's gonna be a great game, Sucker Punch doesn't really miss, so, I'm excited, but I'm gonna catch y'all next time, alright, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna see y'all later, peace. Bobby.